Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of this unnamed series. Scram um, Viber. Scram Viber? Scram Viber. Part two of the remix. It's something like Scram Viber, but it, it's like it's it's gonna be Scram Viber because it's gonna be us fighting about something and only one will come out victorious. You know what? You're so right. Scram Viber to the reboot. Um, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. It's scram dive. <laughs> yeah, something like that. For now, it's scram dive. If it doesn't match the title, it'd be like that. That's just how it or is. Or deep scram. Yeah. So our topic today <laughs> is we're just going to be talking about Regina from Once Upon a Time. Our queen. We love her. <laughs> um, the question of the week is, do you like Regina? There's only one right answer, but I will let you speak your mind because you know what? Pre- I don't know, Stephen. Since you're my guest, why don't you start? Like, what do you think about Regina? I, I believe that Regina Mills, um, Lana Perea, something like that. I don't know what her name is. <laughs> I believe that she is the reason why we did not go into World War Three. And let me explain. If it was, if it wasn't for her, we would have definitely gone into like another world war. We would have killed everyone. Like and her. um, she, she, what's the worst thing she's done? Genocide? Oh, so bad. Um, <laughs> don't cancel us. We're kidding. Yeah, we we don't like genocide unless it's against like people that we don't like, like Muscon. Kill all the Muscons in the world. I would go with that. I would do that. Or all the Stevens. <laughs> you can't get there's too many of us, BB. Okay, this is off topic. But I hate when I'm online and I see someone else with the name Steven. I get uncomfortable. It's so common too. I'm like, oh. Oh. Quirky. So Regina. Okay, I do want to talk about we talked about this when we were discussing the ideas for this episode. Why were her titties always out? <laughs> and why what Disney was like, yeah, that's why I have her titties fully out. She was like, <laughs> I never big noticed breasted. while like watching the show growing up. I never noticed that. Like, it was probably just to add, to, like, the, is a femme fatale? Is that how you pronounce it? I think so. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think it was just to add to that, like, you know, vibe because you know, female villain, you know, they have to obviously sexualize her because what are they gonna do? Not do that? Cheat her like an old I mean, person? I've seen. I've seen plenty of ugly female villains. They're either, like, extremely, like, they try to, like, make them into caricatures that are unattractive, or they sexualize them. There's no in-between. No. You're either the ugliest person ever, or you're super hot. And also, if you're the ugliest one, that's why you're a villain, because you were yeah. ugly. And if you're hot, you can't be a you're going to use reason. your hotness in order to, like, like, against people. Like, that's, like, Which, one of your I mean, powers. I would, too. You know, if I, mean, I was that I would hot, too. I would, too. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, oh, I dropped something. Let me bend over. You know, like I would do that to get my way. But we've established you would be a sexy dominatrix villain. Exactly. Like mm-hmm. Regina. <laughs> exactly. There we go. I started watching the show. Okay, so I didn't watch the show in order because I was stupid. So I started <laughs> at season, I think, four or five. I think it's four when for, the Frozen and stuff came. Mm-hmm. When Elsa was there in Anna. Was That's when Elsa? I started Duh. Um, that's when I started watching the show. So I was like, who the fuck is this? Why is she acting like this? Who's Robin Hood? I was so confused. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is happening? I love how you continued watching from that season instead of just like going back. I watched that whole season and then I went back. I, I'm in the minority where I actually did not like season one that much. I didn't like season one. It was it was good. Don't get me wrong. But it was it was a really slow burn, and I'm into slow burns personally. I like the action hating me every episode. As much as I like complain about the fact that um, Once Upon a Time had that thing where they came up with a new plot line that didn't make sense every other episode, I feel like it was a lot more entertaining than the first season where everything was just like following a linear path with the slow burn. I, I do agree. That I didn't enjoy season one as much as the others. It was just so chaotic and so good. Mm-hmm. Also, just it was kind of Especially because they didn't know, every, all the characters didn't know that they were fairy tales, so it seemed very weird. Getting down in frisky, I see. Mm-hmm. Nasties. Nasties. 
Just... And Regina, basically, <laughs> going back to Regina, the plot, she um uh, she created this curse that basically teleported everyone in the realm into a town without magic and without their memories. And that's how people didn't have their memories that they were this or they were that, blah blah blah. Um, yeah, she did that. Um, but Emma didn't get teleported because she, they put her in a magic tree thing with Alongs- Pinocchio. Yeah, Pinocchio. But um, so we can't take the curse. Um, and everyone but them got teleported. Um, and basically she grew up in an orphanage, right? Because she was alone. Awesome. Same difference. And um, and um, what happened? So she did that. Then she became a cop, I think. And she was a cop. Then Henry found her, and then Regina. I don't think Regina I think knew she who a, she was. A private detective or something like that. I think she went after people with loans. I don't know. I don't. I don't remember. Maybe she was. I don't know. She was something with enforcement of loss. And did Regina know? I don't remember if Regina knew that she was the chosen one. I think she did. I feel like she had some sort of vibe, even if she didn't confirm it. Some vibe. I think my my favorite part, low key, was in season two, like the first episode when they get their magic back. She's like, "You want to see the bad one? I'll be the bad one," and then nothing happens. And then it, she gets it gave arrested. me like Mother Gothel being like, "Um, you want me to be the villain? Fine, or no? Literally. You want me to be the? You think I'm the bad guy? Fine, I'll be the bad guy. Something like that." <gasps> That could have been a good song. Mother always knows best. Okay, so another thing that I'm remembering. So Henry, <laughs> obviously, like he didn't like Regina the first season, right? Because after finding no. out. I find I that so, so funny because technically that's like his mom who raised him. And as far as we could tell, she really did like care about him. And like they mm-hmm. loved each other. She like said. she was a good mom to him. But then he found out about the book, and then he immediately started hating her. Like, imagine that. <laughs> like, you have so your funny. kid. That's... Because <laughs> they had... A, Just like, the in hatred. the seasons afterwards, when she became, like, she got her redemption arc, they were still really close. Like, she was his mom. Redemption arcs. <laughs> arcs. Plural. Arcs. Plural. We'll get to that. <laughs> well, Yeah. So the first season is just her kind of trying to get Emma to leave, basically. That was the whole thing. And then the final episode, she made her a, a apple turnover with poison. And then um, Henry's like, don't eat that. And she was like, why? And then he ate it and went into a coma because he's stupid as fuck. And they couldn't figure out how to get him to, you know, not be in a coma up until... True Love's kiss when his uh, mom, the chosen one, kissed him um, once upon a time, once upon a time wiki. I did enjoy the aesthetic of once upon a time. I love the aesthetic. The special effects were so good. Or the outfits. Again, Regina. Like, I know we were just talking about, like, her titty out stuff, but, like, she was still iconic. And that, the titty out stuff Uh, was also mm -hmm. iconic. Okay, so it seems like I need a synopsis. Why is it giving me? It's giving me like episode something. It's so annoying. Uh, episodes, videos, trivia, air dates, references, casting, lineup changes. No. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to search up Once Upon a Time. Oh, I forgot my keyboard. <laughs> two, uh, season two. I'm really bad at research, if you couldn't tell. Um, <laughs> um, synopsis. I don't think I spelled synapses correctly. I spelled synapses correctly. Oh my okay. God. Girl boss. I'm just so amazing. Okay. Premise. When the curse is broken, the residents of Starbucks struggle to resolve their original um and cursed memories and left wondering blah 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 their fate. Something about Mr. Goldrew's magic. Oh, okay. So magic wasn't introduced into the world. I, I, I forgot about this. So the the kiss um released everyone from the memory stuff. But magic did not come back until Rob with still skin brought magic back. Because um, if I remember correctly, he always knew. He did he his magic his memory was not changed. Yeah, yeah, he always he knew. He always knew. The crocodile, if you will. Wasn't I think it is. His son also saved, right? in some way. His son, yeah, his son is Henry's dad. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
This is copper part of a realm spread by a curse. He's actually Henry's father, Neil. Um, so, okay, so season two, it's not really up uh, because every season kind of had a theme. Season two does not really have a theme. Season two is just the characters kind of going back into figuring out who they are and all, and magic being back and all that stuff, basically. It was just a continuation season, of season one. Yes. Season three is when they go into Neverland. Okay, okay. That was also so weird. Yeah, and like, then figuring out that Peter Pan is actually evil and is I mean, that one, that's, Rumpelstiltskin's dad. The, the Rumpelstiltskin's dad part was really weird. The evil part, it makes sense because I'm pretty sure in some like iterations of the fa- the fairy tale, he did used to like, kill yeah. the boys. That part makes sense. But the dad part, the part where we start getting into the family trees and everything, that's when I was like... I saw a video about um I, I that was, it was a really good video about it was like a good hour long video about the family trees and it was upon a time I think I, I'll, I'll look it, it up and watch it I would it was good it. season four was when I started watching which is um the Frozen story arc oh that was such a good season I it was so sad I cried four. cried that season <sighs> oh yeah okay so season five is when it's basically when Emma goes through her uh. <laughs> her villain arc i guess um don't we all the black swan if you will mm. yeah because in season six is that that's the one where regina is separated into her good half and her bad half okay <laughs> just make our girl boring like that i guess and then season seven was the one the the it, it was kind of a reboot but not really because it was the one where um they were in a completely different town, a completely new curse. And I believe this one was done by Lady Tremaine. Mm. I stopped watching after Nikon. season six, I think. Season six, I actually did not mind season seven um, at all. Hmm. The only one I didn't really... I, I liked all the seasons. I mean, let's, I'll be honest here. Let's be yeah. honest. Let's be honest here in the gig. It, I liked all the seasons. Guilty pleasure show. It's a guilty... I have so many of those. I have so many. <laughs> you just I, love I, watching I trash a, fiction. I mean, why did you think I love, you know, just being around you? <laughs> Trash. Thank you. And Thank you, you live in what? Fiction. You're delusional. So now let's go into Regina's kind of weird arcs the, <laughs> throughout the show. The sign graph, if you will. The sign graph that we had. Yeah. Season one, she was obviously the villain of that season completely. Mm-hmm. And An then icon. season two, if I remember correctly, season two, I think she was still a villain, but she was starting to slightly become a little, a little Yeah, because good. of Henry. Henry was kind of like bullying her into becoming evil. <laughs> no, not to not become evil. I was going to say becoming evil. <laughs> no, to like become good and go away from evil. He was kind of bullying her. He was like, dumb bitch. And I then season... Uh, multiple times. Mm-hmm. Season three, I believe that's... She was, I think, still evil, but... It was like more half and half. Anti hero. I believe. Anti hero. Season four, she went backwards and forwards at the same time. She went backwards because that's when Emma brought back her boyfriend's long lost wife and her long lost son. Wait, can you repeat that? <laughs> okay, because in season three, they're in Neverland. Mm-hmm. Um, and the way they got there uh, was, I guess, to report or something. But when she was. I remember this because this happens. Season four is when that happened. So season three, I remember this because season three, she went, I think half of it was Neverland. And the second half was she went back to the thing, the Enchanted Forest or something. Mm-hmm. And basically she found it because she went in the, it was in the past because she found Regina terrorizing this small village and she was about to kill this girl. And, and basically um, she saved her and she's like, you can come with me. You'll I'll take you to a safe place. And she did. And she didn't realize that that was actually Robin Hood's long lost wife. Um, oh, yeah. And that's why Regina started hating her again because of that. Um, and she was also pregnant. So she, yeah. Um, and that's when she also brought um, Elsa in there because she brought, like, there was like an urn that she tipped over and it spilled some blue liquid thing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So that was that. Season four is, oh, uh, Season four. I love season four. I mean, let's just be honest. Frozen the musical. They copied Once Upon a Time. I mean, I'm sorry. Frozen two copied Once Upon a Time. 
I'm just reason. saying they came up they came up with a parents are going to try um get rid of this evil curse thing. You know, I think I also started watching Once Upon a Time when the Frozen thing came out, but I started at season one. So I, <laughs> same brain cell. Same brain cell. But I'm telling you, it's like because I remember we were so we went to see Frozen the musical when they came to our city, and I I, mean, I turned to Miranda and was gone. I go, I went. They caught me once upon a time, <laughs> just in the middle of the show. <laughs> it's so so. Yeah, so she was basically good. That was the season where she was good. But at the end, she was like, I don't I don't want this anymore. I don't want to be, I don't know, I forgot what she said. But she's like, I don't want to be evil. I want all this bad juju off of me. And I forgot what she did. I think it, she might have used the, the, the knife. I think so. Um, The dagger, sorry. Mm. Um, And she separated her good half and her bad half. It was like this big, black, gooey ball thing. Yeah. And... Um, she didn't know that she separated her bad half into a whole other person. She thought it was just gone, mm-hmm. but she was not. So season six, if I remember correctly, has to deal with that uh, because every season split up into two things. I just don't remember what season those well, most of them are. <laughs> <laughs> That's the snob. <laughs> you know, this is about I, Regina. I tr- it doesn't matter about the plot. <laughs> but just oh. thinking about Regina for a second, mm-hmm. I. The thing that we love, Steve and I were talking about this, like, I think it was literally, like, yesterday. Um, the one thing we loved about Regina was, you know, the fact that she's a villain. She's got that, like, nice anti-hero-ness to her in lo- the later seasons. You know, we like some, like, different, like, morality. We like some gray moralities in our characters. Exactly. And then they just split her up. Like, the show has <laughs> such a bad thing with not having anybody be morally gray. They're either the most evil, evil thing, and evil is like a manifestation, like some sort of, like, plague, or <laughs> they're good and they can cure everything. Yeah, literally. But it's like a it's disease one or the other. and, like, a medicine. Like, where is the okay. spice? Um, oh, when she goes to the underworld. Yeah. She goes to see Hades. Um, because, um, uh, so at the end of the first part of the season, when she was Dark Swan, she, um, so I think the darkness killed Hook. Mm-hmm. So she went to Hades for the second half to revive him. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Oh, I... shit, what did I just close? I closed something. I don't know if that's important. But I think it's OBS. Mm-hmm. So the second half of season six was. Okay. Um... I also love how, like, the show oh, yeah, doesn't let anybody yeah. die. Except when they're bad. Oh, I mean, there's only a few. Um, Rebel Silskin's son, Henry's dad, actually died. Yeah, I was going to say that. Like, yeah. I think he's, he's one of the only one. ones. Yeah. Um, and then we were already on season six. Season seven is kind of hard because season seven is kind of actually a, it's considered a reboot. Um, because it's complete. It, I mean, it still has the same stories from before. Like that still happened, but it's a new town, new villain, new curse. Mm-hmm. It's basically season one all over again, but better. Better. I liked it more personally. I, I mean, I just love Lady Tremaine. I mean, I love Lady Tremaine. You would be Lady Tremaine if you had to be a villain. I I would I want to be all of them. Cruella Deville, Lady Tremaine. You would be all of them, um, but Ursula. like Miranda and I were talking, and like if we had to pick one for you, it would be Lady Tremaine. I think I would because I just hate kids. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love them all. But yeah, season so season seven, she's changed. I don't know, because she basically isn't in the forefront of season seven. Because mm-hmm. it's not really she's kind of a supporting character, so it's kind of hard to really talk about it. So I, I think we're just gonna skip it. Yeah. Cause it's it's a weird season. But season six. So that's where um the Black Fairy comes in. <laughs> the Black Fairy is Rumble Silskin's mom, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Something else family trees wasn't that when they got cursed and sent back to the enchanted forest yes yeah that also happened during season it happened a few times three i want to say because that that was when i remember um um what's his name the 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 rabbit from um alice in wonderland i forgot his name but yeah i don't know he was there because he took them to the enchanted forest because someone got kidnapped Mm mm-hmm Oh, they, I did, they, they could see the Queen of Hearts. I remember. Oh, the Queen of Hearts. As well, icon. Oh. Gay icon, literally. I just, 
there's so much to talk about. This has been a complete mess because I don't know what to. It's one thing on a time. <laughs> it's just so much happens. So much happens. Uh, so we ended up with what season five for Regina. So season six. So she went through, as we said, a sign graph. Mm-hmm. Um, I just feel so bad for her because they basically, she was so happy. Like the ending of season, the, at the end of season three, she was so happy. Oh. And then they're like, "Oh, but here's your your boyfriend's ex wife." That made me so mad, and I understood. I understood why she kept going back to being a villain because everything was always against her. She would go one step forward and two steps back, and it wasn't even like she was trying. She was trying. People were she testing just... her patience and ruining her life. <laughs> I just and I, I don't blame so the people who, who like ruined her life because it was an accident. You know, they didn't mean to. But at the same time, like, honey. You did what you did. You can't you blame her and be said. mad at her after that. Like, give her some therapy or something so she can have better <laughs> coping mechanisms. She goes to a therapist. So when I get mad, I put curses on towns <laughs> and I kill a lot of people. I do what can I do? It's funny <laughs> that, like, her entire, like, evil arc was because, like, Snow White, um, was because, like, her love lover was killed by her mom right but that continued mm-hmm. on for like 30 years yep yeah, just <laughs> she was mad snow white because she told her mom that she had a boyfriend and her mom killed her boyfriend it, she wasn't and mad she's at been mom, upset ever right since. like she was mad at her but she was she, no but like, she was mad both but they continued to work she... together didn't they or was that with no she she daughter? trapped her in a mirror that might have been that was um um, Miss Wicked Witch of the West. Yeah, okay, never mind. I got that confused. Oh, by the way, <laughs> Regina's like <laughs> half sister is the Wicked Witch of the West. Am I completely making this up, or did something happen with Zelina and Robin Hood? They had a child, I believe. Yeah, I, I believe so. Yeah. Um, what were they putting weird. Regina through? <laughs> they really said, "Yeah, you're gonna go through it." <laughs> How she turned out to be a good guy in the end is anyone's guess. Like, I would, like, she just was a pat on the back. Like, what, what the hell? I feel so, she, she went through it. She really did. And like. Being Regina is suffering. I could never be Regina. Me neither. She went through too much. What the fuck is the thing? Jail Jack. I love how um, this is going. Just becoming a Regina apologist. <laughs> like, video. It is Selena. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, Z E L E N A. I did. I, I, I have to say, I did enjoy like that little arc with um, Zelina and everything because I thought it was like pretty interesting for like just Regina as a character. The part I, I think it was season three. Um, they basically faked her death. Um, she turned into like I think a porcelain doll and then died. Mm-hmm. That was so iconic. Ugh. The one thing that What's Upon a Time did right well. They have a few things right, in my opinion, but the mm-hmm. best thing, their CGI special effects were so good. For a show that, like, it was a TV show, they don't usually have good CGI. It was an it was ABC so, show, yeah. It was so yeah. good. You could obviously tell it was very CGI, but it was so good. In and the, the best again, way possible. The outfits. The outfits were so good. And also the villains. The, the outfit, villains were so good. I liked all the villains. They I, were mean, so, I, I mean, we just have a thing for villains, but, like, they were so charismatic. I love them. The good guys are really annoying. Very preachy. <laughs> They're like, you can be good. You just have to try. Like, my mom just died, and you want me to be good? <laughs> like, jeez. Fuck. <laughs> Didn't even give them a chance to mourn. Literally. They expect them all smiles. Be happy. Toxic positive. New analysis. How once upon a time portrays toxic positivity. <laughs> but yeah, Regina did nothing wrong. Everyone else was we just wrong. We are Regina stands. We love her. She was iconic. Um, the only character with like depth. Let's be real. The yeah, only nuanced yeah. character in the entire show. Also, I kind of really found Henry annoying. <laughs> like I love him, but he was annoying. They ended up recasting him for the final season. Really? Why? Because they aged him up. Oh. They aged him up. He was like in, he was supposed to be 20 or something. So at the beginning of the season, he went into a portal thing. And then that's basically it. And then 
And yeah, he married Cinderella. They had a kid. He married Cinderella? Yeah, they also recast as Cinderella and I, Lady Tremaine. I didn't expect that to be part of it. That's canon. <laughs> That's canon. Cinderella and Henry have a daughter. Basically, she, the daughter was a replacement for young Henry. She was that. Oh, you're you're actually a, a fairy godmother. It's still a pretty good season. I'm not gonna lie, I mean, it was a slow burn. A time, it's gonna be entertaining regardless. Yeah, I don't care. It's it's basically a, it's the rubber doll of ABC. Yeah, it's like, but it's different because we it, it's fun. Riverdale is. Oh, why? What the fuck's happening to your camera? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Bitch, oh. are you- you're possessed. You're haunted. I have a high standard for um, Once Upon a Time. I just enjoy it. I get frustrated mm-hmm. with the show, but I still love it. But back to Regina. So, I love Regina. I love the outfits, I love the magic, I love everything. And that's just the team. I just love how she hates everything. I, I love how she ate, like hates everything and is such a nihilist and a pessimist and I just love it because me too while watching that show they were so annoying. <laughs> they were like, you can change. You just have to try hard enough. It, they, were the, they were the kindergarten teachers. They were actively trying to sabotage her redemption arc and then got mad when she was having difficulties. Ableism. Ableism. She Sorry, just... they are. Yeah, I feel like given this, I feel like Regina was definitely bi. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Are you kidding? Right? She totally like a hundred. Pr- Let's go through this. Okay, so Regina's bi. Bi. Uh-huh. I feel like Emma's also bi, but she's like the bi. She's like the the female bi. bi. It's like oh, I wouldn't die. I wouldn't date a bi man. You know, she's got definitely got like internalized bi phobia. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hook. I feel Hook was definitely gay. I'm sorry. Hook was gay. Hook yeah. was gay. He wore eyeliner every single day. He's gay. He, he's either... He gives me non-binary vibes. I don't know why. It's non-binary. I, but I still see gay. I see gay non-binary. No, definitely. yeah, that's the vibe. Like, he was definitely mm-hmm. non-binary. I could totally see him, like, fucking with the gender binary. Airplane. Sorry. No, you're the one getting possessed. <laughs> no, I was like, what the fuck? Um... Uh, <laughs> Henry, Henry's just a straight little boy. Yeah. A little straight boy. I feel like he'd be like an it. ally, but he'd be like, he'd try, but he'd make a lot of mistakes. Oh, definitely. Uh-huh. I feel like um, Mary Beth was definitely straight, and she was a little homophobic. Really? Just a little bit. No, not I not a see lot, that. but I a little see. bit. She had stuff to like unlearn, definitely. I mean, they are from the Channel Forest. That was a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Back in her day, you know. Yeah. There were all these pronouns and things. So, my question is for you, Prince Charming. Okay, this, this it's it's two alternatives, exactly. and they're completely opposite. He's either straight and homophobic, or he's the gayest of the gays. Exactly why I am. But closet it, always closet it. Oh, definitely, but I I can't figure out which one. So Regina, um, I loved her in the musical episode. Me too. I loved her. I loved her song. Why didn't? Oh no, you already gave me the song. I was gonna say, why didn't you give me her song? No, yeah, I, that was the first song I gave you. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, that was iconic. I mean, just that entire song. No, powerful magic. That's not the name of the song. The Charmings versus Regina is just how <gasps> we feel for the show. They're like, oh my god, love! It's so powerful, and then she's just here, like, love is dead, and it's not gonna do shit. Like, Shut the fuck yourself. up. Do it yourself. I think I would um next round pool set, I'm gonna give you um you and Miranda, I'm gonna give you um the charming song or whatever it was called. Powerful magic. Yeah. I was but not of, like the one with Regina, the other one. The, I was thinking the of giving one. it to you two this this time. You didn't? Wow. No, I was thinking of saving it for another time. Love is an open door. <gasps> Am I haunt? I don't wanna be haunts. You could switch places. Yeah, discuss, cause Hans, but like, I, I can actually sing that part. <laughs> you, can decide, one you could decide which one of you is the catfish. 
Oh, but I am the catfish. I have to be Hans now. That's just who I am. Yeah, I'm sorry, girl. But it's but, just like you think this is my real. This is just a wig. <laughs> You're Imagine. bald. Oh, I'm actually a, a bald, um, thirty year old white man. This is just a mask. And I'm wearing a fat suit because I'm problematic. Wow. Wow. Okay, see, I'm white, so I must do what my ancestors did. I think that's that's a colonizer blood in me. <laughs> <laughs> my dad kept saying that our name sounds like Mussolini, and I was like, "Don't you ever say that again? <laughs> Don't you dare!" <laughs> Wait, well, I need to look Don't up the dare. um. I need to look up the history of Mencia. Don't you dare! I don't worry. I'll cut this part. <laughs> I don't care. I want to know where I'm from. I think I looked it up. I couldn't find it. I don't like search. how Wikipedia has a different spelling. Then it's probably wrong. Instead of a C, it's an S. Oh. That just means chair. Yeah. It's it means a band chair. Huh? Uh, I'll be name it. I'll be video bail. I'm recording. Okay. Okay. Bye. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, it's not giving me anything about it. It is a... It's mostly Argentinian. It's it's hardly Mexican. Argentinian? Yeah. What the fuck? It's, it's very... It's a, I don't even see, like, Mexico on here. None of the people no. who are famous with the name, none of them were Mexican. You know what? It's not going to be history. I'm just that quirky. See, I would do it between 23 and me, but they're so expensive. I'm not going to waste money on figuring out that I'm from wherever I am. I'll just I'll just say I'm, I'm Mexican and move on with my life. Yeah. I mean, what are you going to find out? That you have colonizer blood? Been you. Yeah. Who doesn't? Well, when he already doesn't have any colonizer blood in them. Let's just be honest here. Hmm? What minority doesn't have colonizer blood in them? Literally none. And that's why I love Regina, because she's not a colonizer. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think she is. Well, actually, I mean, technically, was. the first season could count as her just taking an entire group of people hostage. That's not colonization. That's just... I mean, she, was a, she, she made herself the mayor. Because mayors have so much power. In a completely isolated um, town that's not even showing up on map maps, I think it counts. It's like its own mini country at that point. How do they get anything done? Like, how did the economy work? I don't think they. I don't think it did. <laughs> how did they get any resources? Did. did Regina just make everything that they needed? I think so. Like, I'm pretty sure. But imagine her like, she... continuing that later. Like somebody is like, they're just yelling at her for being able. And then they come up to her a few hours later, like, hey, so I need some milk, like, for a recipe I'm working on. Can you just make some? Summer, she was like, I just signed this town myself. So mm -hmm. something must be there. Job. I'm going to yeah. continue the headcanon where people just came up to her asking for random things they needed imported and she just had to make it while having her character arc. Of course. They're like, I know I hate you. I know I almost killed you like two minutes ago, but like, I really want to make a souffle and I ran out of eggs. guys um my camera is dying and we got off topic so we are gonna end this video here the point is that regina george now regina george <laughs> regina mills <laughs> did nothing wrong she got mills. 
<laughs> Regina George too. She also did nothing wrong. She did nothing wrong. She was just there. <laughs> she was just the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> okay. The point is that our Regina, Regina Mills, the evil queen, did nothing wrong, and we are hardcore stands of her. And everybody else sucks. Yeah. Thank you for yeah. watching my video. Um, thank you, Steven, for being here and talking with me about oh, all of your stop. once upon a time expertise. <laughs> um, <laughs> the question of the week is. Do you like Regina? There's only one right answer, but I will let you speak your mind because you know what? Free speech. I I have a question for you. Oh. Why are you giving the question of the week at the end of the video? Because I forgot, and so I'm just gonna edit that in. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget too, so you know what? I can't even be mad. 